Hey Angry Nation, it's Angry Admin here and as you know VMware released a new update for vSphere server and update 3D. As you can see on my screen, my vCenter in my home lab already informed me that updates are available. So let's have a look how to update our vCenter server. As I mentioned a few seconds ago, you can see and the updates are available over here, also over here. And if we click on one of those places, it will take us to Update Planner, and we can see that the update is ready. And the date is the 29th of March, and we see the build number, and we can check that build number um, on my blog, um, which is angrysysops.com. And if you go there to a VMware vCenter released and build number history, you will see that the newest update was released on the 29th of March and the build number is this one, 866 ending, and it's exactly the same. Okay, so we have also here link to release notes. So if you click here, it will take us to VMware page and we can read all about that update. The severity is critical, so it's important to update your systems. Now, what we can do from here is if we highlight that update, we can generate the reports. So we can see if we go to the interoperability report, we can see if all our solutions and add-ons are compatible with that update. So if we have a vSAN, if we have a SRM, if we have a VROPS and an SXT, that will show us if all those solutions will work with this update. The second option is pre-update checks. And this is which will tell us if there's no issue on our system to run that update. With, you see with the first option, and there's a small caveat. To run that report, you have to join customer experience program. And as I didn't do it, I will not get that information. So I just show you very quickly that uh, let's click on it. And can you see now that error message? It says that we are not joined the customer experience improvement program. If I join it, I will get the list over here. But that's for later. Okay, so let's go back to our update. And let's run pre-check. It will take a few moments. And you can see there is no issue found, which is good. Again, this is a small environment. You just have a two host, so I don't presume any errors. However, if you will get any errors over here, you can address them before go ahead and do an upgrade. Now, to upgrade vCenter server, we always do it from appliance. So we can go to port 5480, or we can click here. I will show you. So we can go and take our vCenter address and go to port 50. For 80, if you press enter, we will get the vCenter server management appliance, or we can just click here and it open the same link for us. Now let's log in. And we are inside the server management. Now in here, we can check the health status of our vCenter, but we are interested at this moment in update. So let's click on update. And we can see this is our critical update. So we have two options. We can stage for now, or we can stage and install. We go ahead, we will go ahead and stage and install all together. Now, if we click on the arrow, we got more information about the update. We get information like 
what size of it is and if we run pre-check we get an estimated downtime so let's do that and we can see that pre-check passed which means there's no errors or nothing which will block us from an update and estimate downtime is 180 minutes okay let's do that let's click on the stage and install of course we have to read the license and accept it runs pre-check again and now this is the customer experience program which i didn't join and i'm not going to join now and um, we will consider that on the other stage now very important thing do we have a backup so guys i cannot stress enough how important is to have a backup i didn't show you how to set up a backup yet and in fairness i didn't set up backup on my uh, environment yet what we can do we can do the snapshot and this will work for us as well on this stage so let's go back to our vCenter and this is my uh, vcsa right click on it go to snapshot and take a snapshot uncheck include virtual memory and i will do meaningful name so before update 3d create I have to re-log in, that's okay. And it says that snapshot has been completed. Let's check it. So right click on it, go to snapshot, manage, and we see the snapshot has been created. We have a size, we have a date, we are good to go. So let's go back to our appliance. Okay, we will log in again. Go to update and let's go stage and install again accept the license agreement now guys it's up to you you can join like test program straight away um click next and now i just say yes i have backup and clicked finish now guys it will take a time okay so i will speed up the video but before i do so please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or comments regarding this please leave them down below the video and i'll be happy to answer them or chat to me over the twitter uh, my handler is at angry Sysops. so see you once that is done okay and we are finished as you can see installation complete let's click close And now we can go to summary page and we can see that the build number is 19480866, which corresponds with that release. Okay, guys, that would be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and read my blog. There's a lot of information over here and my twitter account is at angrysysops what else i open the facebook group called vmware knowledge base uh, the link will be in the description of that video please join and uh, there's a lot of information over there as well and see you in the next video bye